Let's talk Twitter with somebody who knows the deal. Attorney Shannon Liss Rorden, it's very good to have you, Counselor. Thank you for your patience on a Friday night. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. So, counsel filed a class action suit uh, against Twitter before all this happened. And I was so anxious to speak to you again because you were exactly right about what was going to happen in Twitter. You said, no, 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 this is just the beginning. This is what he wants to do in there. He wants to create a lot of disruption. How did you know and what do you believe is actually happening right now? Like, what is this about for Elon Musk? Um, well, I've actually filed three class action lawsuits against Twitter over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we saw this coming. We started November 3rd, just as it was becoming clear that uh, there were going to be a lot of layoffs coming uh, and there were a lot of workers' rights being violated. Um, unfortunately, Musk has shown the worst side of himself, has treated the workers so unfairly, and, and he's single-handedly destroying this company. Um, very sad to watch that play out. What do you think his agenda is? I mean, ha help us understand, because you know the man from previous litigation and what you're hearing from employees, current and uh, former, or soon to be former, um, sending these tweets, hey, look, you either work really hard to get out of here. All right, that one I kind of understand. You know, uh, shutting down security clearances, um, stopping the uses of badges, closing the offices, asking people who do software, who actually write software, to come at 2 o'clock. I mean, it sounds like what you would do at a college campus for some club, not a company like Twitter. He's really just out of control. In my nearly quarter century representing workers, I've never seen anything like this before. He's the richest man in the world. He clearly does not have any care for the people who work for him, for the people who make this company what it is. He thinks that he has all of the answers and he can just treat people like garbage. And he's trampling all over worker protection laws. He fired thousands of people without giving them their notice that they should have gotten under the WARN Act, and then he's not giving them the, the severance payment that they had been promised. Over the summer, there was a lot of uncertainty about what was going to happen at Twitter, and the company tried to keep employees there and not go to other companies, and they promised them a lot of things, and, and Musk just came in and he threw all those promises out the window. Do you think they can stay open at this rate? I mean, what do you think happens? Well, I don't really know uh, what, what's going to happen. I just know from hearing what my clients are talking about at Twitter, there's a lot of concern that entire teams have been let go. And again, he just thinks he knows how to run this business that, that he just came in contact with. There are a lot of employees there who have been working really hard to make the social media platform what it is. Uh, and, and, and they're very concerned about whether it can even keep going, whether it, the mechanics of it will actually keep going with all of these people no longer there to, to keep it running up the way it should be. What's your take on how in the midst of all this, when he should be trying to do everything common sense would tell you to settle things down, he puts out a poll tweet about whether or not to reinstate one of the most divisive figures in the history of Twitter, uh, former President Trump. What does this, what should we get I from this? I find it absolutely amazing that, that Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, who was running some very um, expensive companies, and he just bought Twitter for $44 billion, he doesn't seem to be spending so much time actually figuring out how to run the companies and make sure they keep doing what they're supposed to be doing. Instead, he's putting tweets out just to see what kind of attention he can get. He needs to buckle down, and if he wants to run this company, run the company, and at the same time, make sure that employees are treated right. Uh, without the employees, this company is going to fall apart. It's not too late for him to pick up some of the pieces. Um, as much as two-thirds or more of the workforce is now gone, um, either fired or forced out, um, he, he's got some serious legal problems with them. But with the employees who are remaining, if he, if he reverses course, starts treating people with respect, and then for the employees who have been forced out, pay them what he owes them, maybe he can start to right the ship and, um, and, and save this company. Hey, thank you for watching. 
please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.